Sunday we flew up to Des Moines. We spent most of, uh, well, all morning and part of the afternoon there. Oh, water. I'll, I'll grab it and get mine. Yeah. We went up to Des Moines Works and go through the factory for the Gold Key Tour. The new picker, it'll be fun to get it in the field. Trying to look normal. <laughs> the gold key tour we we're anticipating it for a while we were just kind of ecstatic to to be a part of it the gold key out there to you just remember it's not really gold so. <laughs> before we went up there you know i didn't really know what to expect because i had never been on the tour of the john deere facility yeah i haven't been to a factory like that i've been to the scraper factory but haven't seen actual you know the bigger machinery getting built bring the parts to the line and assemble them on themselves. You kind of get a step-by-step -step process of, you know, how pickers are built. We were very appreciative of, of the way we were treated. I was impressed with how receptive they were to criticism. They were asking, you know, what was the problem? What didn't you like? Was there anything you didn't like? And, you know, going through the facility, and having these guys actually care what we think, that was refreshing. They really made us feel important. So it was nice to be treated that way. It was a neat experience. I never, you know, never been here, didn't know. That's it. That's your machine right there ahead of you. The new picker. Uh, here's the gold key. Increased capacity, increased header speed, increased ground speed. Don't mess it up. <laughs> it was neat getting to start up our new picker. To see it come to this point was was really neat, and especially being there with my dad, you know. Like the, combine. the new picker we will be using this season, soon. My crops at this point in time, we're in mid-August, in fact, August 15th as we speak. Cotton looks great, corn looks great. Every, actually, we're blessed. Everything, all the crops look very good. Cotton crop potentially could be phenomenal. Yeah, we've been here, I guess, 20 or going on 21 years. And across the board, cotton's real good. It's sure head above the other varieties for disease, no doubt. That's got a long way to go. We're a little further along than what we usually are. Probably as much as maybe two weeks ahead of normal. Overall, it's looking real good as far as crop growth. This fall, with all this new data, <laughs> all of our information is organized and, and ready to be used. Whenever a grower has a crop consultant or a seed company that would like to see some data on their product that's out in the field, it's really easy for a grower to do that with my John Deere Operations Center. You get asked a question by your crop scout or fertilizer people, you know, what's where. Chemical representatives, people outside of the farm, vendors. Yeah, that's what I call it. Agronomic data, that's the big one that a lot of consultants need to be able to see what the planning was, the speed was, any applications that were done in the field. The accessibility to the information has greatly streamlined the whole operation. I'm just tickled to death with where we are at this time of the year. People we deal with couldn't be happier. <laughs> if Mother Nature is good to us, in August, we're going to pick the most cotton we've ever picked, I think, across the board. A lot of things can still happen. We still have to get through August and September and the rains and the humidity, but we'll cross that path if it comes.